Okay, someone out there is probably dealing with the same issues that I have. I have a LeBlond uh, servo shift. Uh, my servo shift stopped working. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to tear it apart. Got some instructions from LeBlond. Uh, so you can see I removed it. Uh, it's going to be four main bolts here, here, and here, and here. And this whole thing will lift off. You got to undo this hydraulic line. Very easy. You got a fork that sits right in the middle of here and a fork that sits right in the middle of here. And then you'll have a steel rod that runs right here and goes to the shift unit. You can pull that off, that rod will just come off. There's nothing holding it on, on your servo shift. As you can see, I've got it out. So you're gonna have six bolts right here. This is the housing and this is facing down. It just rests in here, very easy. This is the top of my LeBlanc. You're gonna remove your halves, okay, as it comes apart. These two halves are gonna be connected together. I thought I ought to do this video while I have it out. I have a feeling someone else is struggling with this same issue. Um, this is not shifting through gears. It's staying in the same exact uh, position. It's not changing RPMs. So uh, before you do all this, make sure that you're in neutral. As you take it off, uh, this have I'm reassembling this because I just got done cleaning it out. It had a bunch of aluminum. You can see little little bits and pieces of aluminum that was stuck in here. So I'm flushing all the ports. Uh, this is uh, most common. What happens is these these uh, nylon break. I'm going to show you how all that goes together. Um, so just just you're going to split it apart. Okay. So there's all these bolts here. You'll have long bolts. Um, and then you'll have short bolts. So as you split the halves together, it's pretty easy. You'll be able to see where it splits in half. Splits in half, be careful. You're going to have this little spring, and this little roller wheel that's going to come out, and this gear. And I'll show you how to put that all back together when I have this all done. As you get it apart, just set those to a side. This can either be scratched. Mine's in pretty good shape. You're going to see some major gouging in there if this is the issue, or this can break. This nylon heats up and breaks. So you want to inspect this and the two valve bodies on the inside. You're going to look at that and make sure that that's not scratched. And this side right here is the side I'm reassembling. This part, you'll see it. It's got all those nylon. You just want to make sure that all that's in, con in contact and uh, you're not going to have any problems there. As I set this down here. Now I'm going to show you. You're going to go to the part with the fork. Okay, I'm going to show you on this side right here. You're going to have um, a cotter key. You're going to look at, you're going to have two cotter keys that's facing you after you get these halves apart. It's very easy to get this apart. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, so you're going to pop this open. Okay. And you're going to look down there and what you're going to see, I'll just pull one out for reference. This right here is a pin that sits down in there and it sits in there like so. Okay, it's, it's threaded. So you take out the bolts that hold it in half and you're going to thread them down in there. And then what I do, you need to grab a pair of pliers at the top or you can grab these side cutters and you can just work that bolt out and just kind of grab it and pry it. It'll come out fairly easy. Okay, as you get that out, you can use this as a slide hammer. Now this is all instructions that was given to me by uh, LeBlanc. And as you take this and as you pull it and pull it and pull it, this itself, piston, will come out. And it looks like this. Uh, this is where I had all the aluminum debris at. I cleaned it. I inspected the inside here and made sure. Now you're going to have... There's going to be an aluminum piston in there, okay? And the orientation of the aluminum piston is down in there. That'll come out. As you tip this upside down, that aluminum piston will come out. So, this side's a little different than the other side I just put together. As you get that aluminum piston will slide out, make sure you know which way that aluminum little piston is going to be about this long. will slide out easy as you tip it upside down um, so going on the back caps now these are built I almost identical to each other just very differences you're gonna have F is gonna be the one that you're gonna take apart first on your block this is H F is more common 
the problem with the shifting. So if you have any debris in here, this is where I had debris. Very minimal, minimal debris on this side. So I'm hoping that that was my problem. As I put this together, I won't have any more issues with it not changing gears into shifting RPMs. So uh, you're gonna punch this out. It's very easy, punch it out. I would mark it with the marker to keep your orientation. This flat mark needs to go this way, okay, on your valve. As you get that out, you're gonna punch it with, I use a piece of nylon. This is a solid block of a, line, a nylon I had around. It goes in there perfectly. And you'll be able to pop that out and it'll have a little tiny uh, piston that's made out of uh, nylon. And you'll also have this cap. So just make sure your cap is mark it before you take it apart so you know the orientation of it. And that's it. I'll just run it through and clean it. Make sure that you spray out all your little orifices on your uh, on this side here. You can spray out all these little orifice holes and make sure you got clearance that there is no interference in between those and that you don't have any major scars. Now LeBlond also says that they sell every component of this. Rebuild kits, whatever. So very easy to reassemble. Uh, take pictures, I advise taking pictures of the orientation that it all sits in here and it all goes back. I know that this is the front. This is just an oil, looks like an oil housing. It squirts out oil in there. I know that this is the front facing me. As I look at it, it goes in there. And this is the back where that oil port uh, starts where the oil line is. So just kind of how you tear it apart, just very uh, rough video of how to tear something apart, but I didn't have anything to go off of other than instructions from the blonde. Uh, got it figured out here. I'm going to start working on putting it back together and we'll see if it works. Hopefully this helps you guys. If it does, um, great. If it doesn't, uh, send me some uh, questions on what you might have or what you found or maybe some comments on what you found helps you with your servo shift i love leblanc because they have the best um, customer service you can imagine um, they are american made the guys right here in america you can talk to him and he can give him you can give him a serial number on this lathe and he can walk you through every inch of it so Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if this video did help you. Thank you.